This is the second video in the series on how to create a Procreate pattern brush. In the first video, I showed you how to convert an image to black and white, make it a shape, and now we're going to use this to create a pattern. And finally, a Procreate pattern brush. So let's go into Capture. And this is my pattern section. Now there's two ways that you can add a pattern. You can add an image straight from your camera roll and I'll quickly show you that. So go to the plus sign at the bottom, import image, camera roll, and then I can go in and let's choose this black and white. So I can use that as a basis. That's the first option. Now if we go out of there, let's create our pattern from our original shape. So let's go to shapes and this is the shape we created in the first video. So we go down to the arrows, round arrows at the bottom, we tap it and we say new pattern. So now we're ready to begin. Let's look at the options on the left hand side. The first option on the left enables you to convert an image to black and white like we did in the first video and actually that's a pretty good way of doing it as well. So if I tap on that, first one is colour, the second one is grayscale and the third one is black and white. So if you didn't watch the first video, if you want to have a quick way of converting an image to black and white, that actually works very well. The second option is either a bitmap or a vector. And the first option is a bitmap, and I found that is much better than a vector, because as you're squeezing it, you can see the different shapes, whereas a vector, you have to take your fingers off, you don't see all the shapes. But give it a go and see what the difference is. The third one down, are all the different kinds of patterns that you can make. So the first one is a pattern that you'll make from a triangle. The second one is from a square, the square in the middle. The third one is from a different triangle. The fourth one is from a wedge, also a triangle of course. And the fourth one is another square, which does it slightly differently from the first one. But the one I like is the one in the middle because you get some interesting patterns. So let's go to the right hand side and tap the tick. On the right, you'll see your original image. And by taking your fingers and squeezing in and out, you can zoom in and out of the picture. And by doing that, got all these interesting patterns. So you can move it around by dragging it around. And if it goes over the edge, and this is where it's to our advantage to actually have that extra white space, because if we go and zoom really close in, we can get patterns that we really didn't expect or wouldn't have been able to get. So these, look what a great pattern that would be all these fabulous patterns. Now I'm going to really zoom in. I want to create a fairly simple pattern so that it's easy to understand. And I'm going to choose that pattern because it's simple. Not my favorite, but it'll give you an idea of how this works. So I save this, to the, go to the top, press the save. We save it again to save it to our library. And then we need to tap it. Now before we actually save it, we want to zoom in a bit because we're really only interested in a small part of the pattern. I want to make sure I've got the whole pattern that I need there. Okay, now we go down to the bottom, to the left hand side to the share button, tap it, tap, save to camera roll. And there we have our pattern. In the next video, we will create the actual pattern brush in Procreate.